home of the Large Hydrogen Collider. It's 27 kilometers in circumference, and it has the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. But it's also the largest cryogenic system in the world and one of the coldest places on Earth. So the magnets operate at a temperature lower than outer space. And Adam here with me is talking about microservices and Java EE as cool as the LHC. That's a lot to live up to. Yeah, so I, ch I changed actually the uh, title to almost as cool after I saw the <laughs> keynote. So, um, yeah, um, it is pragmatically cool. As that not, works. Yeah, this, that works, yeah, as at least what the developers are uh, telling me after the, after the project. Does Java EE lend itself well to microservices? Um, per accident, it's perfect. So uh, what happened was um, Java EE has a deployment model, what basically means that uh, the infrastructure does not change a lot. So it means if the server gets released or we get new Java, then it changes. And because of, of thin wars, it's like uh, the business logic, we just have to deploy the business logic. So we have natural separation between business logic and the infrastructure. What it means is that deployment are extremely fast. So we can push to the clouds in seconds or uh, what I did in the session, I just emulated the cloud with a private Docker registry and it took, I think, one second. And uh, this is uh, what makes it interesting in my projects, the productivity. The, uh, um, the, the really high productivity. And I think these days, this is what matters, productivity. Yeah, it's all about staying ahead of the competition. Yes, uh, from business-wise. Uh, te te no one cares so about it. Not for developers. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, for the developers, it's actually really boring because there is nothing to learn or nothing new. Actually, in a perfect Java E project, you only have to, to know, I would say, four annotations and plain Java code. So there is, yeah, I, I was told Java is boring, let's do something else. But I mean, uh, business doesn't care about, you know, excited developers. Yeah. So uh, in terms of Java EE and changes, are you happy with the Java EE roadmap? Very happy. So I would say, uh, I mean, I'm very happy with Java 7 already. So it's not like I'm waiting for such, for some APIs to, to come. What I'm what I'm really happy is that something happens because yeah. it's really uh, very important for the image and for marketing that uh, Java E8 will come. Um, I get lots of questions now you know, when Java E E is uh, eight is out, and uh, I, I ask, you know, what are you are missing? So there is no answer, but they're waiting. You know, so there is, um, so uh, there will be some interesting uh, security, of course, uh, very important. There will be JSON bindings, um, also interesting. Um, so th th there happens a lot, but I think you can be incredibly um, productive right now with Java seven or even Java six. So, have you had a chance to look at MicroProfile? Yes. And what, what are your thoughts on that? I think uh, MicroProfile is uh, very important uh, because uh, the um, we don't need Oracle to move forward Java E. So from this point of view, it's really important. So the killer use case for MicroProfile, I don't have it in my projects because of the uh, separation, the deployment, everything is crazy fast. But what you can do with MicroProfile, if you have unusual project, like let's say CERN. So there are lots of frameworks which you have to use like I don't know, big data processing or whatever, what you could do, you can create a micro profile application server with all the dependencies. So your de deployable is still small. And this is supported actually by all vendors. So um, I think jar, uh, the um, a white face worm calls it, I think, hollow jar, and the um, the Payara, this is just uh, deployment outside the jar. So this is a killer use case. For all other projects, I don't care. I, I measured the performance of stock projects between micro profile and stock application server, no difference. So uh, I would still go with the stock application servers because they are more common, and you get more answers on Stack Overflow. Perhaps in that case, micro profile is more useful as a movement than yes. a, a single. Yeah, piece of yeah, and, and and make development uh, developers exciting. And because micro profile is micro, it is easier for new vendors to create a new service. So this is, I think, a big deal. But from the developer perspective, I don't care a lot about this. So I cared about the movement, but for me as developer, is right now no no more problem solve or whatever, except the platform problem, which you can do.